I agree. Uh, so let, let, just briefly, you jump in there, Eddie. Let me tell you what my deep research and basically vision is. Okay. And vision just means you're like, like things crystallize, epiphany. To, to talk about 12 dimensions, 11 known, 12 being omnipresent, so we don't say it actually exists. To say that is arrogant, so I won't say that. But I have had dreams my whole life that come true. And the weirdest thing, like a lady drops a thing of pickles at the store. For five years, I have the dream. And then one day, I'm there, and it's the woman, and the pickles break. Or, or I walk really? around the corner. When was this? Particularly when I was a kid. It was that, more intense. That is fucking crazy. So for five years, you had the same dream, and then one day it happened? Yes. Was it exactly how you dreamt it? Yes. Fuck. For about six months, I had a dream of a guy in a purple and green striped shirt. And I'm like, why am I walking? Because it's not like normal dreams. It's like you've been taken over. You always get vomit after Lucid, you like a lucid dream. Lucid dream. And I'm walking around like, why am I behind a building? And all of a sudden, there's some dude in a purple and green striped shirt, and he attacks me. And six months later, it happens. And I mean, it happens exactly. So, What do you I, think is going on? If you, I mean, all thoughts of yourself aside, just, just look at it objectively. What do you think that is? You could say that it's human programming and basic programming in the brain. Do you think you're tapping into a timeline that maybe you can't access all the time? Well, that's what I know it is. One of the reasons why you can rant and rave and, and when you spew out information the way you do, which is very impressive, the way you can talk about things. For three and hours about straight, and get six excited hours about straight. Things, you do the majority of your programs entirely by yourself. No television. But I agree with you. It's not like I'm, I'm telling but you. This is, is, the, you're I, you're let, doing something unusual. Do you but understand that's it. that? I'm not even doing it. It's like a river's going by. There's a turtle. There's a fish. There's a, a log. I, I, that's why it's like random. Like, what is this? What is that exactly? Right. But that's how you communicate. That's like in the beginning of the thing we were talking about Sandy Hook. I kept trying to slow you down. I was like, I'm not following you down this river. You just hit this one rock. I want to talk about this rock. I want to talk about the next rock. But you just keep going. The way you think about things is you're you're chaining one thing to the next thing to the next thing to the next thing. And for people who are not thinking the way you're thinking, it can be exhausting. Like you're trying to follow. Well, sure, what it doesn't you're even saying. mean I'm right about it all. I'm only seeing the like the code. But I'm wondering because of the fact you're telling me that you had these dreams that came true exactly the way you dreamt them. I know you're not full of shit. I've. You're not a liar. I've known you for a long time. If that really did happen to you, if this is your real life experience, I want to know what the fuck that is. Are you are you are you on the periphery? Do you have your finger on a membrane that maybe other people can't totally touch? Where occasionally, just occasionally, you get a little peek through and you get to see the other side. Even if it's only once or twice in your life. Who's to say that what you're experiencing by being able to see these things that manifest themselves realistically in the future, that this isn't what human beings will have five years from now or a hundred years from now? Well, sure, exactly. Right? We think of like a cell phone being magic hunters. We think we're all the same. That's the thing. We think we're all the same, but we're not all the same. We're not all the same in our ability to talk. You can talk for a lot longer about a lot of different things than I do. Eddie Bravo could talk about jujitsu better than both of us. And he's a musician. So you and I both suck at music, right? So there's, there's certain things that people can do that you can't do. Well, let do. me try to describe it. And, and they'll use this against me, but notice they don't touch it because it's their whole religion and they can't stand up talking about it. By the time I was like three years old, I would have this dream that God has because God knows everything is this super intelligent, omnipresent, unlimited dimensions, but God doesn't know where God came from. So just like we're trying to find out where we came from, God is like a virtual reality simulation as well. And God is constantly running every program, every operation, turning evil loose, good loose, everything. So I would have these dreams. But the earliest memories, like two, three years old, where I would fly out to the edge of infinity. And it was, a, it was a continual message. Find out where we came from. Find out what it is. And it would just be this big, giant, spinning black vortex, like a black hole. And then I would have to go into that trying to figure out what was going on. And it never it, it was the same thing. And so it's this incredible frustration. So then growing up and dealing with things and questioning politics and questioning all these other areas and then having dreams that come true exactly and like knowing what's going to happen before it happens and then questioning it and then it never being wrong. Um, you like weird, not bright, like crazy stuff, man. Like, like just so much stuff where it becomes like you can't even deal with it. You like dial it out. And then 
you just reach that point where you don't even know what's real anymore because it's so crazy. But then you see like the mathematics of the whole system and you know how it works. It's not like you're some schizophrenic. You talk about it, you deal with it and it actually works. Like now when you fight the system, you automatically know what to do. Like when you talk about something, the president word for word <clears throat> repeats I me, mean, Trump, this is what freaks him out. Word for word, the whole speeches, like whole things. And I'm not on a power trip. That's what they flipped out about at the CIA and everywhere else. And they're like, well, Jones is like connected to Trump. And I think Trump's like an idiot savant. What does that have to do with the speech? Explain that. Trump's speech? I'm, I, I'm trying to follow you. I don't even know. I don't even That's know. That's the thing. It's hard to follow you sometimes. Because you know, we were talking I'm about God. You were talking this about Trump's, came, Trump's speech that, abilities? Well, even before that, he was talking about God. I okay, mean, so God. God knows everything except where God came from. That's a good soundbite right there. Do you think that God is just like every other system that we see? Like, think of this. There's no... One, God is the most advanced There's no one AI. bird. There's no one bird that's running all the birds. There's no one person that's running all the people. There's, it's all chaos. Even if we elect someone, if they, half the fucking people hate them. Everybody's in chaos. There's con they're trying constant power struggle. Are you so still on Do you think that God Trump's is decentralized? Do you think that the idea of God is decentralized? That maybe God is a real thing, but God's not one person. God is literally God all is free of will. the organisms. God is not just free will. God is consciousness. It's all the organisms. It's every fucking technological innovation. No, I think God it's is all the things. No, I agree with you. And that's is, not some new age thing. New age is a counterfeit, Joe. I agree is it with you. It's a counterfeit? No, I'm saying a counterfeit of what's real. Oh. Because they'll say, oh, God is everything. But it's true. God is experiencing consciousness through all of us. There's, there's you know, no Mike, uh, where I have a hard time saying that I know this. I could say God might be decentralized. I could say God might just be just like every other organism on the planet. It's just something that's moving in a certain direction, trying to protect itself and trying to procreate and trying to advance and trying to innovate and trying to be better than it was yesterday. That's what everything is doing. Every fucking animal that started out as a single-celled organism is trying except, to survive. Except the reason, they didn't create themselves. Well, it's so, not necessarily that it didn't create itself, but something created it slowly yes. but surely well, let's say this. through the let, process let, 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 of let evolution down. and mutation. This is the... Uh, we keep going. We keep going for hours. We should do an epic podcast, but the point is, we should not give up. Let's the don't point, give up. The point is, there is a pro-human future and a pro-free will future, and the globalists are, a, are an anti-human, anti-free will future. So all I know is to swim towards the light. This and is so a I'm good for point. a pro-human future. 